Okay everyone, this is a tutorial in how to enter data into your TI calculator. First off, let's start with some data. Let's say that you had the heights of students in your statistics class and you wanted to enter these data values into your calculator. Well, the first thing we would do is we'll go to the stat key located on the calculator right here right below the delete key and right to the right of the X key we'll click on that this will pop up a menu and we want to select edit this will allow us to edit our list you can see my list already have values in them as yours might as well. If you would like to delete these, you can push the up button until you select the entire list. You should see something similar to this. Click the clear button and then the enter button. This will clear your list out. I will do this for the rest of my list to make sure that everything is cleared out. Okay, now that my lists are cleared out, I will go ahead and enter my values of my students' heights. In this column here, these are all of the students' numbers. For instance, this is the first student, the second student, third student, fourth student, fifth student, and so on. I don't have to put this into my calculator because there's no necessary order for putting data in because later we may want to sort it and so student one may become something else. So let's just enter in the values 62, 70, 71 and so on. Just enter in the values like you would normally and then hit the enter key in order to put in the rest of the values. You may want to pause the video and enter them into your calculator at your own speed. Okay. Now that I have all of my values entered into list 1, denoted L1 in your TI calculator, I should have approximately 12 values. As you can see here, I have 12 students. If I go up and highlight the last student that I entered, it should be L1, the 12th position, which would mean that I have 12 students or 12 items in my list. This is good. We want there to be 12 because that's how many students we had. Go back through and quickly check and make sure that you have entered the values in correctly. Oftentimes in statistics when we get errors or problems in analysis, most of the time it's a problem in how we entered the data. So go back and check and make sure you've done a good job at entering the values. It looks like I've done a good job here. This is pretty much the end of putting in data into your calculator. We'll go into how to analyze this data in another video.